Hey Capricorn, I hope you're well. In today's reading will be looking at whoever you're thinking about for the rest of the year. Love or hate, I'm seeing someone who is very passionate. Um, also someone who can be physically strong, but I'm seeing willpower come through. I feel like this person recently has been through some challenges, maybe a karmic cycle they're completing, and it seems to be through their relationships seems to be you know not business i'm seeing more romantic but yeah this person's very steamy Ooh, and i feel like they're physically very attractive strength yeah this person has high morals is what i'm seeing someone of integrity strong beliefs this person stands up for what they believe in that's what i'm getting and they're not easy to manipulate or control in it. They have a very strong mind. They could be coming from a very stable background. And they seem to have a healthy relationship with the masculine energies. Or just the masculine within themselves. I feel like a lot of people... Oh yeah, wow, who is this person? They're physically strong. I'm almost getting like a Taurus Ascendant. It's a strong build. This person's not afraid of getting their hands dirty. You know, physical labor is coming through. I'm not getting, if you're asking about a woman, I'm not getting like a girly girl. It's almost like a tomboy. But regardless, they're physically you know, a lot of people desire them, lust after them, and they're very passionate. They have a strong sex drive, I'm getting. Yeah, as I say that, death, Scorpio comes through. Strong love-hate dynamic in their relationships, I feel. Yeah, but this person's extremely loyal. We have two, we have three fixed signs. We have Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. So that stubbornness really does make sense now. This person seems to be in a, leader, a leadership position or they may be helping, guiding others in some way. This is a great person to have in a time of crisis. I'm getting someone who's calm, cool, collected. Now I see this person's very valuable. If they're working within a company, wherever they go, they have a lot to offer. I'm almost getting a self-made energy here as well. Extremely responsible, dedicated. Yeah, someone who's very busy. It seems like work is their, <laughs> as I cut the deck, King of Pentacles, I was about to say, it seems like work is their priority right now. I'll come back to this, you know, if I get more messages, because it feels like I, I have a lot to say about their personality, which I didn't get for all the signs, by the way. But yeah, this person go, can go for a long time, especially in terms of passion, if you know what I mean. They can last long, <laughs> all night. <laughs> okay, um, their energy right now, we have Page of Cups, Six of Cups. Well, it's all cups coming through for their energy right now. There may be a significant child in their life that they're spending a lot of time with. If it's not a child, I'm getting a pet. This person may have people dependent on them in some way. Can be a pet though, right? But it's a very sweet, loving, caring energy they're in right now. There's a level of innocence, perhaps, you know, connecting more so with their inner child. Maybe they're taking time off of work, maybe some creative project visiting their you know home country that's sort of what i'm getting the past is resurfacing here there may even be getting together with friends family here oh page of cups i'm not taking this because when i cut the deck that was wanting to come through oh yeah there's a situation in their life a lot of drama conflict and this person's in that they have a hard time forgiving but it seems like they're in that generous energy and if they need to apologize or make things right with someone 
specifically siblings or friends is what is coming through, um, then I do see them extending that hand and smoothing over any differences. So yeah, I see them reconciling here with someone. Their energy when it comes to their love life, Page of Swords in reverse, Knight of Pentacles. Seems like they're looking, but it's a cautious, cautious approach. Page of Swords is when we're watching. Yeah, I think they're open when it comes to their love life. They are seeking new love is what is what is coming through but there is an element of divine timing or there's some level of unpredictability here and i also feel like this person it's almost like if it's meant to be it will be i'm not trying to force anything yeah this person's looking for something stable grounded they're not interested in flings or flighty people because they're very stable within themselves, so they need someone similar. This will be a beautiful match. Beautiful match. I can already see it. There's a lot of similar similarities here with your sign. And I feel like there will be shared values here. You'll have a lot in common with this person. But yeah, they're a little bit slow moving when it comes to rom romantic connections. They like to take their time. And it can have something to do with this breakup separation, but it can just be who they are as a person, right? Higher fit. So and steady wins the race. That's the mentality here. I almost want one more for the page of swords. Queen of Wands in reverse. That Queen of Wands in reverse may be an energy they freed themselves from, and now they're single. They've healed for whatever happened in the past. They've come out of that. They're emotionally independent. And also I'm getting a lucky period here. Or their, their love life. It's like a happier cycle here in terms of their love life. Things are really moving forward. They're happy. I feel like they may be dating. Something more lighthearted. Perhaps going out for drinks. But I also feel this is a person that has high standards. And they won't settle for less than they deserve. It's someone who's thinking that, you know, if I find the one, I'll settle down. But if not, I'm happy single. I don't necessarily need anyone, right? So yeah, they're chill. They're having a good time on their own right now. They're, they're happily single is what is coming through. Their finances. This is interesting. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Swords in Reverse, Five of Pentacles, Hermit. In the past, there was victim mentality or just the mindset, lack mindset here that they're working on. I feel like this person's stable. They're doing well, self-sufficient, nine, nine. They're self-made. But something they struggle with is fear of losing what they have. That's what I'm getting with this person. And I'm also getting self-worth issues here with this person. This is someone who bases their self-worth on how much they earn or own. And I feel like this is someone who's self-aware. So it's they're working on that. I feel like they're not struggling financially, but there is a desire for more in some way. This person's very closed off. If, if they're working in a group setting, they sort of... I don't know, they're not really... interacting much with those around them. It's a bit of a lone wolf. It's not a center of attention at work. Definitely not. That's out of choice. What is going on with this person? Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. The power of the mind. This person's self-aware, yes, magician. They're working on changing their mindset here is really what is coming through. And if they are in a difficult situation, say they feel like they're working more, they're not being paid, 
you know, how much, you know, what they deserve, then it's someone who's working on liberating themselves, magician. Some of them may want to leave a nine to five to start their own business. So persons are very capable. They have all the tools at their disposal to be very successful. Strong Virgo energy coming through in their fin finances sector. And some of you, there is a, what do you call it? A setback because of health issues. Yeah, some of them are leaving behind a job. Definitely. They're strategizing too. Okay, their relationship with their family. This is a little bit chaotic. I'm getting two sets of you. Some of you, this family is very suffocating. Very suffocating, especially the feminine energies. It's like clingy, desperate, overtly protective. Suffocating is what is coming to mind. I don't know, their overall personality isn't the most emotional. And it's like their family or whoever this feminine energy is that's holding a, you know, playing a significant role here um, is like opposite to them. So this energy may be, it's like an energy vampire. They may need a lot of reassurance or support in some way, maybe emotional support. They need to lean on this person, but th there seems to be a like codependency here. See all the water? This is crazy. The father may be a Pisces. We have high priestess in reverse, hanging man in reverse. There may be some sort of substance abuse here. Can be that their parents were divorced. It's too much going on here. I Let's get tea leaf because that's a messy situation here. Oh. Can you tell me more about... Oh, sorry. Apologize if I hurt your ears. Can you tell me more about Capricorn Singles next serious partner family situation? I'll edit that out so it doesn't hurt your ears. I'll take this one because I'm feeling it. We have depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. This can be a clingy you know, maternal energy that isn't wanting to let this person go. Yeah, the feminine. Strong Pisces energy. Look, March. We have dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Major challenge to overcome. Affairs with your family. This is why I like using tea leaf. Yeah, this is an older woman. Look at that. Dealings are relationship with an older woman. A grandma, a mother. It's proving to be unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Something about March and love. I'm not sure what that's about because we have that with marriage. Some of you, that may play a significance to you somehow. When you get engaged, married, perhaps some of you will marry this person. We have May. This person can be a Taurus. Fair man. You should accept valid criticism. Some of them, there's an absent father, and this gift, this treasure box, whatever that is, maybe um, talking about inheritance here. I didn't do this for the other signs, but I was really intrigued by this person's situation. But we have fair woman, fair man.
happiness. Yeah, look, opportunity or windfall, seek out information that will help you. Pay attention to your health. Feel like an inheritance. A period of ill health and depression. Moon. And I also feel this feminine energy that's making a strong presence may be going through some health issues. It can be mentally. So there, I'm getting a very vulnerable energy here. So this person may have to guide them or assist them in some way. And that can be a little bit draining. We'll see what else comes through, but we'll leave it at that because it'll just go on and on. Okay. How you'll meet this person? Three of Cups, Sun in Reverse, Eight of Pentacles. This is really interesting. Some of you are meeting this person through mutual friends or someone introduces you. It's around the time when you're, it's almost like you're not looking. Even if you look at the Eight of Pentacles, he has his back turned. It's all work and no play. Sun in reverse. That's all you're doing. And if you don't resonate with that, it can be this person's energy, right? They were very work focused. So there is an element of surprise here. How you run into this person, you're not really focused. Even if you are looking, seeking, I feel like around the time you meet this person, you're a little bit distracted. Yeah, so parties, gatherings, mutual friends. But Three of Cups is a lighthearted energy. We're dating, right? So it can be online as well, where we're actively looking. And some of you, it's literally when you're taking some time off of work to meet up with friends and you run into this person. How they're approaching you. Some of you, I feel like it's online because we have a world in reverse. And it always reminds me, right? World Wide Web. Page of Wands, you get a message from this person. How they're approaching you is a lot of messages being sweet to you. You'll feel heard, appreciated by this person. They're very romantic. They can be flirtatious as well. I think you bring out that side of them. Feel very serious energy, passionate, but sort of someone who is like no nonsense. But you're bringing out that more lighthearted energy few of you, you know this person, someone you're getting to know, which is why World in Reverse. Because even if we look at the Knight of Cups headed in your direction, how you're approaching them, we have Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, Page of Pentacles. You have a lot of doubts when it comes to the situation. They're slow moving, but you're even more slow moving, if that makes sense. Like really moving at a turtle's pace. You feel like this person's a waste of time. Perhaps they're a heartbreaker. They don't have your best interest at heart. There's a lot of suspicion, doubts in your energy. You're side-eyeing them, Capricorn. You're saying you look good. He's looking at the peacock, but hes it's almost like he's mistrustful. There's suspiciousness here. You don't trust them, but you're intrigued, is what I'm getting for you. Let's get you some Oracle cards here. Capricorn Singles, next serious partner. So you're saying you're hot. I can see that. But I feel like best friend, a good communicator. That's how they approach you. We have vanity. I can see that. This person takes care of themselves. They're very... It's a complete package I see with this person. And initially, right? Aw, perfect match. What was I saying? I feel like a lot of similarities here. I'm almost getting like a sophisticated vibe from this person and initially what brings you both together is that you know sexual attraction I feel especially on this person's end but the peacock here so you're saying you know it's mutual attraction yeah this person's physically active wow I love confirmation 
They are, they work out, they're strong. They go to the gym, they're health conscious. Capricorn singles, look serious part, are much older. And if not in age, it's this person has a lot of wisdom. Teacher, right, Harfit? We have life of the party, if they choose to be. Look at that, when you least expect it, passionate, what was I saying?